Praise be Jesus Christ, I have some wonderful pity party advice for you today. You're going to love it. But before I get into that, today is December 1st. Your friends are asking you, what do you want for Christmas? You tell them, I don't need more stuff for Christmas. Sign me up for Father Mark's School of Reading this Christmas. During the month of December, all of the new students are going to receive a copy of Mother Eugenia's Revelations, The Father Speaks to His Children. I love this little book. And Bishop Scott McCaig's Clothed with Power from on High, which we're studying right now, so you'll be able to join us in the study of this book. Go to the link in, description, in the description to sign up or go to frmarkgoring.com. Okay, pity party advice. Sometimes we're cranky, we're having a bad day, we're not feeling good about ourselves, so we have a pity party. Now, you're going to be shocked to hear me say, that's fine. Great. Have your pity party. Enjoy your pity party. But don't project how you're feeling about yourself onto God. Because God loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you with a love beyond all, all telling. And when you're struggling, when you're feeling crummy about yourself, God has, he responds with compassion not with, with frustration or anger. And it's kind of like a mother. You know, a mother with her darling child, when the child is feeling down and cranky and not good about herself, the mother is drawn with compassion, not frustration and anger. Well, guess what? God loves you infinitely more than any earthly parent could. And so this is basic Christian maturity. If when you're having a pity party, you project how you're feeling about yourself onto God. You're a childish, immature Christian. I, I say this lovingly to you to challenge you out of that stinking thinking, that erroneous thinking. In the Song of Songs, the, 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 the beloved says, His banner over me is love. How does God feel about you all the time with infinite love, wonderful love, extravagant love beyond all telling. And again, if you have any degree of maturity in the spiritual life, you know that. And when you're not feeling good about yourself, you're like, fine, I'm not feeling good about myself. That's, that's life. That's, that's being human. But I know that God is still so, so in love with me. So God loves you with an everlasting love. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Viva Cristo Rey.